Dive into the phrase, fish out of water. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we'll explore the phrase, fish out of water. If you've ever felt like you didn't belong or felt awkward in a new situation, this phrase might resonate with you. Let's dive deep and understand its origins, meanings, and usage. Fish out of water, let's break this down. Picture a fish, which is adapted to living in water. Now, imagine it being outside its natural habitat, on dry land. It would feel out of place, right? That's the literal image this phrase conjures up. When we use the term, fish out of water, in everyday language, we're not talking about actual fish. Instead, we're using it as a metaphor to describe someone who feels uncomfortable or out of place in a particular situation. Just like the fish on dry land, this person feels like they don't belong or they're not in their natural environment. Example, John felt like a fish out of water at the high-tech conference because he didn't know much about modern technology. The phrase, fish out of water, has been used in English for centuries. The exact origin is unclear, but it's believed to have been used as early as the 16th century. It's a simple and visual way of expressing the feeling of being out of one's depth or element. 1. Context is key. Ensure the context makes it clear that the person feels out of place or uncomfortable. It won't make sense if used in a random situation. 2. Variations. While, fish out of water, is the most common phrasing, some people might say, I felt like a fish on dry land, or similar variations. The core idea remains the same. 3. Emotion. This phrase often conveys a strong emotion. It can range from light-hearted discomfort to a profound feeling of alienation. And that wraps up our deep dive into the phrase, fish out of water. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and emotions they convey. The next time you feel out of place, know that there's a phrase in the English language that captures that feeling perfectly. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.